Good day, USA! Welcome to Flag Stewards Be a Stud Citizen message for Friday, March 5th of 2021. That's right, we're passing along an important message, and you'll find out about it here in a moment. But first, as we always do, as we're speaking especially to our pandemic frustrated and isolated students out there, you want to know where your flag at your school or your home, is it the right position or not? Well, check out the flag map below. We see that there's four new half staffs today in Nevada, New Mexico, Maryland, and Michigan. Three of those for their state flag, and one for U.S. and state flags. Just click on the link below to find out more details in the honorees, meaning the reason for those half staffs. So let's get to it. Today's historical Be a Stud Citizen moment from our flag. And we did. We had many stud citizens on this day, and we want to pass along the message of their heroics and how it propelled us to get into the American Revolutionary War. On this date, March 5th in 1770, the Boston Massacre happened outside the Boston Customs House, which is today known as the Old State House in downtown Boston. Been there a few times myself. It's just a couple hundred yards from Faneuil Hall. On that day, colonial Bostonians who felt oppressed by King George III's unfair rules and taxes surrounded a group of eight British soldiers. They threw slurs, snowballs, and more at them as the mob grew. From 50 to 300 or more, one of the British soldiers, Private Montgomery, was struck by an object and fell to the ground. Upon getting up, Private Montgomery, against his leader, Captain Preston's orders, angrily shouted, Damn you! Fire! And shot his musket into the crowd. (laughs) Yeah, not surprisingly, once one goes off, they're all trigger happy, right? This triggered the other soldiers to shoot as well, and before Captain Preston could stop his British soldiers from firing anymore, They had shot 11 colonials, killing three and wounding eight, two of whom would later die from their wounds. So in total, we had five killed and six injured. And this kind of blew me away. I did not know this. Interestingly, John Adams, yes, the John Adams, who later became our second U.S. president, served as the defense lawyer during the trial for the eight British soldiers. Adams' argument focused on how the British soldiers were motivated to fire in self-defense against the mob that he described as a motley fool, or not a motley fool, a motley rabble of saucy boys, Negroes and mulattoes, Irish teagues and outlandish jack tars, meaning sailors, Irish teagues, meaning uh, kind of uh, looked down upon Irish Catholics. Obviously, we know what Negroes and mulattoes are. Uh, Overall, yeah, it was a motley crew, as I said, uh, and certainly... Uh, Those are some inflammatory or discriminatory remarks as they would be looked at nowadays. He even singled out, meaning Adams, among the three killed during the Boston Massacre, Crispus Atux as a mob leader. He described Atux, who was a former mixed race black slave, as having a look that was enough to terrify any person. (laughs) When I thought about that, I was like, wow, maybe this is the first instance uh, in colonial America of some, of some profiling going on, uh, during a trial. Um, and, uh, here we are with some of that still going on, but we're, we're, we're slowly but surely addressing and improving those things. Well, no matter the soldier's story of self-defense, the Boston massacre, which killed five colonials and wounded six others, outraged many Bostonians, including Sam Adams and Paul Revere. Paul Revere was so angry and wanting to get rid of these British rulers that he helped engrave and distribute the second of the two drawings shown above, the one that's more colored um, and more more graphic, I guess, as well, you could say about his, his drawing. These drawings, sworn testimonies, all of that rallied the colonials to revolt against the oppressive British rules, and many considered this a big step, a catapult towards the American War of Independence. And with that known now, it's a good time for us to being the students across America at home or, or school. Inspired by this week's American Colonials taking a stand against the British, please unite and recite the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's it. That's today's U.S. flag tribute. Go out and be a stud citizen, meaning being awesome, good to each other, citizen, keep America beautiful. And remembering God... We trust.